choppy choppy day, right? So let's see here. And compare the two days, okay? See how we're like busting volume, busting volume, I mean right out of the gate. Busting volume, busting volume, hitting volume again, hitting volume again. Boom, 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 boom. Even turns around and starts busting some volume up. I mean, we're getting at least two, three out of five bars. We're exceeding volume. Does everybody see that? How obvious that is? Like you can see it from the right side of the chart, by the way, you know? It's not just from the left side. So day starts up, boom, boom. Ah, went too fast. Okay. Exceeding, see that? I mean, it's not like it's a rarity. Like it's not like, oh, how did he see that so far? You know, yeah, you look backwards, everybody can see that. No, it's right there. Okay, I mean, like every other bar, you know, every third bar, like exceeding expectations, okay? We move over into a new day. This is an easy way, by the way, to do market replay instead of download all the data. You click on the right bar, one bar at a time paint. Um, so exceeding, cool. All right, boom, exceeding, yeah, got it. All right, there we go, there we go. Nice. Okay, so good day, right? We made a lot of money yesterday. So went in, and it's well over, just that first trade is over a thousand bucks. Still going. Well, I'm still exceeding in the afternoon. Look at that. We got a great nice trend on back up. Sweet. Going, going. Going over here. Let's see here. Ooh. Okay, this is the morning. This is freaking market open. Going on. Ah. Don't want to cheat. Arrow's a lot better. Use the arrow, you're less likely to click on the toolbar. All right, so new day, starting up. See that nice big white space? Not necessarily nice, but see it? Oh, we broke volume. Sort of a rarity, not like constantly. Anybody else noticing that? I mean, see how well, it's just that. Ah. That's what I'm. You see it all with your bad eye. <laughs> so, but I mean, that's. If you want to test yourself out on this, okay. Load up your chart, and literally, I mean, here's what you do. You, like a little training exercise for you. All right, come all the way back here. Don't worry about, you don't need deviations to test this, okay? And just start going, all you're looking at is volume. Okay, big volume day, big trend day. Okay, we can see how obvious that is. And you can go, I mean, you can just hold the button. So what's going on? Bottom's exceeding, yeah, pretty light, pretty choppy. Going on over here. Ooh, we're seeing like crazy. There we go. Yeah. Then it starts dropping down. So I mean, see what's exceeding? Like we get that nice big trend, right? But then when you start getting these massive gaps, it starts getting really, really choppy. And part of it's just training yourself to see it. Just to, you know, watch and instead of sitting there and watching charts for four weeks to get used to it, just sit down for ten minutes, hit the fast forward button. Okay, and see if you can start to actually recognize that this is happening. And when you start realizing this, when you start seeing this, it's gonna make you a lot better trader. It's like, oh, look at that, man. We're really we're staying under. Yeah, we got a little trend there, but that was a little floppy. And you just keep going. And this is a sort of a style thing, you know. But. You'll start watching it, and, you, and then you'll really know when it is trending like that. See that massive volume? Like it wasn't close. Like that's a big volume day. There's a lot of blue going on. Let's go over here. Yeah, we're there. We're sort of getting above it. See, like it's not a big volume day. Okay, I mean it's it's decent, but it's not huge.
By the way, another good uh, trick is grab the volume and shrink it like that. What this will do for you is it'll keep your volume a level. I just clicked on the price and drag it down. So it won't like resize with big and small bars coming off the chart. Because a lot of times um, big can be relative based on zoom. So by doing that right there, you'll keep everything at the same height. Okay, don't do it on your price because the price will move up and down. But right there, just go forward and let yourself just see what's happening. Let yourself look at the charts. Let yourself look at the MVP scalps. Let yourself look at the reversals. Let yourself identify the apexes. It's a lot easier than doing market replay. The only difference market replay is going to give you ticks. But we, we buy on breakout of three tick highs anyway. Okay? So the bar's got to close. Okay, if it goes three ticks below it, I'll sell. You know, oh, it didn't. Okay, now I don't. I mean, you don't have to have the ticks. We're using closes. We're, you know, we're breaking out of highs after a bar closes, right? So you get an E bar, it closes. That E bar closes because you don't have a high of a bar because the high can fluctuate until a bar is done. There you go. Okay, three ticks. Like, if you went right here and you're watching this, let me go over. No, oh, that's not a perfect example. Hold on, let me find one for you. Let's find a good example because there's a first apex. So I'm trying to find one that's. That look, but, so wait, now you can really tell the low volume by equalizing it off. But, see what I'm saying? Like, do you see the volume piece? Does everybody understand that, what I'm saying? And how to, like, sort of just go back and look at it and see it to help you identify choppiness. All right. So, that should help you out on just a way to go back and to sort of train your eye. You can, it's a fast way to learn Apex. If we go over here and we go back, you know, say we go here, all right? We're going forward, new day starts up. All right, we got an E. All right, we got a red MVP, we got an E. If it gets three ticks below it, I'm going to sell. It does, I'm in. Okay, cool. My uh, stop's up at the MVP line. All right, trail. Oh, by the way, oh, there's another E. I can add in if I want to. Got a red MVP. All right, so two shorts now. Three takes below if it breaks. Three takes below the E. It does. I'm in. My stops up at the MVP line. Up. Oh, got a P. Got an E. Three takes below the E. Add in again. Okay, got another one. What are we at? This is a uh, 0.5 point We're at one deviation. Honestly, probably going to be really cautious about adding this puppy on here, especially with having a volume bar that has popped up. I'm not saying it's not going to work out. This would be a little cautious on that one. Oh, that one broke through. That's awesome. Okay, well, I didn't get that one. I got the first three. But uh, trailing out the MVP line. Still going, still going. Okay, and we're getting volume, man. This thing's pushing down. This is great. Volume, volume, volume. Ooh, got to pop up there on that two deviation level. What is that, one and a half, one and a half deviations? All right, well, I still got my stop at the MVP line. All right, oh, got another apex. Oof. Add in or not, up to you. All right, got the MVP. It's like we're hesitating. We're getting some volume up on the up bar. I definitely don't want to be in on this trade. Go short. Still in, though. Still going. Oh, wow, I can't believe this. It's still going. I'm, I'm just following the MVP line, all right? Just step by step. Ah, we're out of this trade. Okay, so there we go. Done. Like, that's the idea. Um... It should help you out. And you can while you're going, while you're doing that. I mean, you can also mark up. You're like, okay, I went short, you know, here. And then I went short, you know, there, and I mean, etc. So you can go through, you can mark your charts up that way. And then it keeps going. All right, so for today, zooming in.